Hi guys, it's the RPG Brit here, and welcome back to my let's play of Tales of Arise. Um, Something feels odd here. Be on your guard. So I've just made it to the uh, mine tunnels. Um, I'm guessing the enemies here are still just fairly easy, to be fair. But we shall see, I suppose. It could have been filled with more so difficult, in the Zion mine tunnels. more what difficult zoogles. Going through this place again. This is where you and I first fought together. And also the first time we touched, as I recall. Wait, really? Well, there's yes, actually anyone here. Really? You know, he said there's something weird about this place. I've right, got to go this way. Yes. Just making sure. So this path is supposed to take us out to Berg Volcano? We're not going to see any lava burst out in front of us or anything, are we? Don't get so paranoid you let a rock fall on your head, Law. I bet you the enemies here are pretty tough, though. Berg Volcano. <laughs> reach the inner portion of Berg Volcano. Right. And it looks like there's quite a few paths to go down. We okay. need to find that starship and fast. Yeah, yeah level 38. See, our weapon, our um, flaming sword is going to be useless against them, I'm guessing it. Nice. Pretty easy. So we've leveled up quite nicely again. Valuable as I think it is. Right. Let's double check the map. So yeah, this leads to a dead end. So we'll go down here and see what loot there is. Oh, nice. Get up. Got a weak points on its back, it looks like. So if you can hit the neighbor's dog again. Oh, we just got one of these. I thought we'd done. Quite necessary when creating weapon. That equipment should come in handy. Alright, cool. So I'm going to uh, continue clearing this area and then I will um, come back as soon as something happens that is noteworthy. So yeah, I'll see you guys in just a sec. Alright, so pretty much straight away this came up. Um, right, so, well, there's no way we're climbing that. So it seems, allow me to step in. Wait, you're not thinking of trying to vault over with your rod, are you? Right, I hadn't even thought of that. 
in any case stand back I'll handle this so it's a new um, map action for him a construct it's gonna do build a oh there you go you can make plants grow in that's cool what if we... no did you see about vegetables now you see what I can do Oh, one more. I thought that's the last one. What's this thing been doing while we've been fighting? Alright, cool. Um, but yeah, I'm literally still at the top. I'm going to load the map up. Yeah, I literally walked back here and then that... Um, not really a cutscene, but that little dialogue happened. Uh, but yeah, cool. I'll um, I'll carry on and I'll see you guys in a sec. All right, so I've got to the inner sanctum, as they're calling it. Uh, there's a hill here that looks like a boss fight area there. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, let's see how we do. I was really close to actually using some items to um, to get some CP back. So I'm glad I didn't. Oh, this thing is massive. What the hell is that? Thing? <laughs> Probably that monster Nath warned us about, if I had to guess. Do you think this might have been where one of those lights that shot out of the wedge landed? But why this location? If the purpose of the wedge is to harvest Dana's astral energy, we can I'll say each one of those might have been a monster or a Zeugle. If into town, it's going to cause chaos. We need to take it down and move on. Let's go! Right, well, I'm guessing attacking his hands. This one's tough, but we have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Oh, dear. Here it comes! Focus! Toes, everyone. Suddenly Don't turning it. tail doesn't seem so ridiculous. Why? Are you scared? Me? <laughs> are you? Do you even have to ask? I don't really know what, what I'm meant to be doing. Scared? Nothing at the moment, I don't think. It's summoning Zoogle? Its health Take is um question alive. mark as well. Get out of the way of that. Alright, back in it. Oh, well, what is he doing? She's constantly staggering it. Alright, 
That's that done. Are we actually going to fight this thing? Here come more. We'll just have to keep fighting. Okay. So what end? No complaints here. You're finished. Challenge hard on this game. Look through it. Wow, get out of the way. That's ridiculous. I was knocked down so I couldn't do anything. Doing this. We're gonna be wolves now, I know. It's half expecting it to be like, each of the enemies in this area. This one is taking ages to go down. Okay, for one of these instead. I see if he's already used up. I'm not even started fighting the, the main thing yet. CP yet 100%. You don't need to fight it. Is that it? It's got a trophy, so that might actually be it. Yeah, alright, fair enough. That wasn't too difficult at all, actually, then. So you had to avoid his attacks while fighting what was it, okay? three lots of Zoogles, I think? Yeah, I think so. 
That thing scared the pants off me. <laughs> it felt like it had a different aura than other Zoogles, didn't it? Yeah. It wasn't like the one that Almadria sicked on us either. Its elemental astral energy variance was out of this world. It was like fighting a lord. I guess it's safe to assume that if it came out of the wedge, it must have played some part in helping harvest astral energy. But what? Perhaps a living spirit vessel? It's plausible, given the location. Or it may be part of a new force dispatched to regain control of Dana. If we assume that monster was one of the four beams of light, we must have prevented something from taking place here. I'd like to think so, knowing how much grief it gave us. But at least with that out of the way, we can keep moving forward now. Let's go. Oh, nice. Unrelenting blaze. Cool. Secret key to a certain door in Calaglia. Okay. Ah, oh, that's interesting. I need to be stronger. Ah, oh, good few leveling up, which is good. Let's go. Let's move on. Actually, we've got one of these torches now. What do you know? Another big fire monster with <laughs> nothing better to do than get in our way. I wonder where the rest of those lights ended up landing. It looked like they were pretty scary. There's going to be a monster in each one. Well, whatever they're after, let's just hope none of them are anywhere near a city. An ambush on civilians is the last thing we need. Well, no rest for the wicked, right? Though, with one down and three to go, it sounds like our headache is just beginning. I thought you liked the opportunity to flex your muscles. Against those things? It's not like I have a death wish. Besides, we've already got our hands full saving the world. Dying stupidly won't be much help to the cause. The others might be um, yeah, additional I bosses then. That logic. Sorry. No, not additional. Um, optional. That's the word I was looking for. Okay. Outer area. Hey, is that it over there? <laughs> oh wow. All right, let's see. There's no nothing there. Nope. Aha, you can have this one. You're already good. You can have that. Nice, and you're really good. Cool. Yeah, we'll sell those bits. Um, buy. Oh, this is good. Okay, cool. I'm impressed how well balanced this thing is. Did you remember something? No, but I have seen this starship before. This is it. This is the ship I traveled in when I escaped from Lenigus. It's still working. Three centuries later, and it's no worse for wear. I'll take a look at the internals. Damn! I'm amazed it still works at all after all this time. The past meets the present. I really am from a different time and place. Yeah, but you've got us now, Alfin. Not only that, but you've helped out so many people, too. Law's right. Rinwell, too. You're one of us now. No more carrying the weight of history on your shoulders. 
You're a part of this world. Right. Thanks, you guys. How's it look? It should fly. All internal systems seem to be operating. However, considering how long it's remained inactive, I suspect it will take some time before it's ready for takeoff. So we've got how rest much time then. are we talking here? Starship mechanics are not what I'd call my forte, so I'd rather not hazard a guess. So we've just got to sit around here and wait? I'm terrible at waiting. That's because you're a child. <laughs> oh, but how about we use this time to prepare and gather supplies for the trip? Good idea. Who knows when we'll be back from Lenegas once we leave. We should prepare ourselves for every possible scenario before we go. Let's try not to stay away too long. I'd hate for anything to happen to the place while we're gone. Either we race ahead, or we take due precaution to ensure we have no regrets. I shall leave it up to you as to how we proceed, Alfin. Works for me. Wait until the ship is ready for takeoff. Okay, well what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can buy some gel for the CP, for increasing CP. Because um, we are low on that. So that's HP, 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 CP. Let's get all of these. And uh, no. Sorry, I thought that six was how many um, it had. Obviously not. Pineapple, let's get a couple of those. Cool. And I got 500 gold. Wow. Well. Did we really just spend that much money? <laughs> yes, we did. We might, um, we might get a lot of gold from the ship, maybe. If not, it's fine. I wonder if this is like an, a point of no return flying up there. It's funny, isn't it? What is? All this, when we first started this thing, did you ever imagine we'd be going to Lenegas? After all, this is the sort of thing I was rebelling against when I ran away from home, right? I'm sure Zephyr would be proud if he knew what his son was doing right now. And a little shocked, too. We're defying the order of things that have persisted for 300 years. <laughs> Deep down, I knew our journey would lead to confronting Lenegas. Yeah, you maybe, but you're a Renan. The rest of us can barely even picture what it means to leave Dana. No offense to Xion and Dovalim, but it's worth remembering we're heading into enemy territory. No offense taken, and this is no picnic for me either. Remember, our aim is to ensure that both Lenegas and the Renan homeworld leave Dana alone for good. I don't think we'll be able to avoid a fight. Is there no way we can talk them into leaving us alone? The people of Lenigus? Sure. I mean, we found a way to make it work with Xion and Dohalim, right? And it's not just us. If places like Menencia can do it, then why can't because we- Because there are still many of my kind who believe it was right and natural that Rena reigns over Dana. There are those on Lenigus who have never stepped foot on Dana. I doubt whether they'd even listen to Danans. Look, none of us want to fight. But these are the same people who fired that wedge down on Dana. What happens next is on them. Right. We're not going to sit back and wait for them to oppress us again. Right. Don't forget, there's also a good chance the Red Woman is somewhere on Lenigus. And wherever she is, we should find the Renes Alma, too. That's right. If we can take it back, then Xion can finally get rid of her thorns. <sighs> Xion? Huh? Uh, yeah. I still don't know what she's planning.
Where? Shion? Where'd Shion go? How could she just go off on her own? She's obviously thinking about whatever it is that she's got planning. She's not over there. Where did she run off to? Oh, there she is. Shion. She's literally just there. <laughs> Shion. Shion! It's your thorns? But why? You okay? Just now, I looked like you used your maiden powers to suppress your thorns. You can really do that? Stay out of my way. The hell? Wait a second. Are you planning to go alone? Shut up! Why would you do this? I told you to shut up! <laughs> I won't let you. I mean it. I refuse to let you. I won't tell you again. Move or I'll shoot. If that's the case... Then go ahead and shoot me! Do you remember back when I was stabbed? By Rolron? Yeah. I thought for sure that he had killed you back there. That wasn't the first time. Huh? The first time was when I was only a child. After that, no matter how often, I just couldn't die. Couldn't die? So you're immortal? How's that even... <clears throat> I believe you, Xion. But tell me how... How is something like that possible? My thorns. They're me, but at the same time, not. They're part of me. I have no idea why. But my thorns will never let me die. At least not before I'm meant to. You can't die before your death? When my thorns free themselves, it will be my death. <laughs> I've seen it. A darkness that swallows up everything until nothing remains. It's a vision of oblivion I can't escape. I want to believe it's all just a bad dream. But no matter what I tell myself, I... I know it's not. Yeah, but you... Wait, the whole reason you... You needed the Renes Alma was to get rid of your thorns, right? If I burn away what's inside, then what will happen to the rest of me? <laughs> right. Either way you look at it, I'm going to die. But if I am going to die, I figure I can at least take my thorns out with me. That's what I've been after this whole time. That's why you turned your back on your fellow Renans and chose to fight with us, isn't it? 
while we've all been fighting to keep on living. You have been with us fighting desperately to die. That was the plan. But then I met all of you. And I... Before I knew it, I didn't want to die anymore. Shion, don't lose hope yet. We'll find a way to save you. There's still time to. It's pointless. Why? Because the darkness won't just consume me. The truth is, it will consume all of existence as well. It was only a suspicion at first, but ever since the Red Woman triggered my maiden powers, I've been more certain than ever before. It was then that I finally came to realize my powers were holding my thorns in check the entire time. But they don't anymore. Not since Lenigus, when the wedge fell. Every day, I feel the Thorn's power growing stronger inside of me. Pretty soon, I won't be able to hold them back anymore. And when that happens... They will consume all existence. <sighs> and that's why you wanted to leave by yourself. You planned to find the Renes Alma on your own, and sacrifice yourself to stop the Thorns. But that's... Too much! It's way too much! When this all began, I didn't care what happened to me or anyone else. And what happened to the Renans or the Danans didn't matter to me at all. I know I have to die, but I don't want to. Not now that I have this. I wish we had never met! I wouldn't have to feel this way! Help it! Help it! He's still happy to take it, isn't he? It's no better than being a slave! How can you endure this? Help it! It's not fair. I don't care what anybody says. I won't let it happen! We can fight this! Fight until the end together. Isn't that what you said to me before? Even if it should mean that it'll be the end of everything else, too? Xion, what do you want? It's your decision, ultimately. You decide not to fight fate. I will. How is he taking it that long? If I have to do it alone. No, you won't be alone. I'll fight as well. Count me in as well. I want to be a force for good, not hate. And me too. I meant it with all of my heart when I told you before. Neither of you are alone in this at all. And I, for one, don't believe this venture is without hope. Huh? Xion is the descendant of a maiden from 300 years ago. Given the circumstances, it seems very likely that those events have some connection to her thorns. The true nature of which, I imagine we will discover as we make our way to Lenigus and uncover the truth of what's unfolding here. I take it you mean we might find a way to get rid of her thorns and she'll live? It's certainly possible. Though I suspect the nature of the Sovereign is connected somehow. So be it. I've already lost everything I had once. And I won't let it happen again. Xion. No matter what happens from now on, we're right here with you. All of us are. 
You are not alone. You guys, <laughs> you're all so stubborn. Thank you, everyone. For right now, and a little while longer, I just want to hold on to this dream. And most of all, more than anything else, I want to be with all of you! So let's go. On to Lenicus. That was nice, that. But I think it's actually time to end this video. Talk to your party members. Yeah, so it's talking to them. I'm guessing. It, is it going to be a point of no return? I don't know. Uh, but yeah, cool. So I'm going to end this video here. And next video, obviously, we're going to talk to them and then head up, I guess. Can you actually see it from here? It might be through there. Uh, but yeah, cool. So thank you very much for watching. If you haven't already, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much, and take care.